Okay. All right, welcome to The Negative. Uh, we have a, a special production today. We, we got a, a new cameraman. Hey. Uh, last time it was a tripod, but we got Emerald Visions today. He got a better budget. So um, today's episode, we're going to be talking about pushing film. Okay. So the film that we shot today was the Cinestill 800T. Let me see that right there. All right, so today we're doing pushing film. So we're using the Cinestill CS41 kit from last time, if you saw the previous episode. So the Cinestill kit comes with a little chart for, right, you can see that, pushing and pulling. Let me get real close on that. There yeah, just go. get close. That way, that way you can see it. Yeah. Okay, so, so the chart here has normal development, and it's got the different times for pushing the film. So we did a one-stop push. Let's go ahead and show the, the setup here. All right, okay. So this is what I use to develop C41. So we got the stock pot right here. And um, this is the Anova sous vide right here. And this is basically just a heater. Heats up the chemistry. That way it's at the right temperature and it's controlled. So it's going to stay at the correct temperature as long as it's on, basically. So yeah, so we're going to be doing the um, one-stop push. So basically, when you're pushing the film, every film has a rated ISO. This one says 800, but it actually is um, 500. So instead of shooting the film at 500, we actually shot it at 1000. So it's a one-stop push. So the first step in the processing is the pre-soak, which we will start now. Bring up the stopwatch app here on the uh, iPhone. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the pre-soak is for one minute. So as soon as the liquid hits the tank, pretty much start the time. So basically, the pre-soak is going to get the film wet and get it more able to soak in the chemistry easier. So what are you doing right there again? What's, what's okay, so this action right here is called agitation. So basically, I'm just stirring the film inside the, the water. And that's basically just loosening up all the dye and layers that are on the film. So our one minute is up, so we can actually pour out the pre-soak right here. Usually when you do different films, it's a different color. Right now it's just clear, so kind of boring, but that's all right. So after the pre-soak, it's going to be in the development, so we're going to start that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and agitate again for the first 30 seconds. And what is our time here? So our development for the one-stop push is going to be uh, four and a half minutes. Okay. So every 30 seconds we're going to agitate the film. And you do have to keep the temperature consistent on it, so it has to go back in the water bath in the meantime. So we're going to do this for a total time of four and a half minutes. And I got the little chart right there. All the times we're right. Okay, okay. So it's one minute, so we're going to agitate. And after you agitate, you tap the tank because it forms bubbles and that'll fuck up the image, so you gotta get the bubbles off. Okay. The developing part is actually gonna be this, the only part that's different in the push processing. Okay. So, because when you're developing, that's gonna be increasing the density of the, the film, basically, like increasing the contrast of the image. So the only important part for pushing is developing, and then the blicks and the, actually that's it. So the blicks is going to be the same, which is this part. This part's like eight minutes, six, yeah, eight minutes. Oh, who knows? Yeah, I've, I've, I picked that up when I was developing. So the cool thing about 
C41 development, which is this, is there's only like two main steps. So there's a development and the bleach fix, which is what we just did. And so now the phone is pretty much done. So actually, I can open this shit up, pull the film out, and expose it to light, and there's actually images on there. But we're going to have to wash the film before we check that out. So next step is the wash. And wash the film like this. See, it's very murky. So we just keep doing that shit. So we're gonna go ahead and call that good. We have to grab the last chemical. Okay. So. so the last step is the stabilizer. And I marked the bottle S for stabilizer. This is basically just gonna help all the um, hard water and everything run off the film, so that way it dries clean. So, we do this for one minute, just pouring enough to cover the film. And it does foam up. Well, we got a towel there. So now the film's complete, that's it. Here we have Cinestill 800T pushed one stop. So now we just have to hang it to dry. Damn, that is that shiny, shiny. So we split the reel. And there it is. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Alright, you can just browse through a few of them. And uh, we call this part the negative. Okay, so in order to further explain what pushing film is, I'm going to be using a book by Ansel Adams titled The Negative. And here we have an exposure chart, basically all your different tones in an image. So you can see an example image here and where all those tones fall. So <clears throat> when you push your film, you're essentially underexposing it by however many stops. Let's just say in my case, we pushed it by one stop. So all of our exposures are gonna drop down by one stop. So each one of these is a different stop of light. So whatever I expose that happened to be at its zone five, which is right here, is actually gonna render as one stop less. So here you can see the gradation of the tones. And then when you push the film, you're extending development, so you're increasing the density of the highlights. So essentially all those are gonna go up one stop. So something that rendered as a zone six is actually gonna be extended to a zone 7. So the whole reason to push your film is like let's say you're shooting in low light and you're getting shutter speeds of 1 15th or 1 30th of a second and those are too slow of a shutter speed for you to use. You can push your film and those will give you stops like 1 60th of a second or 1 1 1 25th and those are going to be more usable stops for you to make exposures. So essentially that's all pushing really is but it does have some subtle characteristics that we're gonna go into in the following images. Um, so like I said, you're essentially increasing the contrast. So your shadows are lower and then your highlights are higher. So there's gonna be more separation in the tones. <clears throat> but it also does increase the graininess somewhat of the film because you're extending development. So the grain size is gonna be larger. And from what we can gather is as far as um, increasing the sensitivity, it hardly does much of anything. In fact, it, it may only in, um, increase the sensitivity um, by one third of a stop, <clears throat> which isn't much, but it is, you know, of some benefit. And then also, um, when you push color film, the uh, colors get a little bit more saturated. So we'll, we'll look at the images following and uh, see the characteristics there.